Tim, without going over Tuesday night again, because we'll, we'll try and park that, is, <laughs> has there been some honest conversations and what's the reaction been like in training? Yeah, I mean, listen, credit to the players. I, they're always coming in ready to go. Um, listen, the bottom line is, I've, I've, and listen, I've had it with them as well. We, I've sort of followed up on, on the, some of the conversations that we had at half time or well, heated conversations that we had at half time and after the game. Um, and, and in fairness, I've every right. I've every right. Sometimes you, you shoot from the hip a little bit in this, in this job. It's, you know, you, you, your head's sort of boiling a little bit. And you say things that sometimes you wake up and you think, nah, it's a little bit harsh and, and you, you regret it or you apologise. But I, I sort of said to them on, on Thursday, I stand by everything I said to you because the, ultimately, you know, we've gone down to Dover and we've been done with two set plays. Uh, again, again, and, and, a, and a cross that's half cleared, and we're not, we're not marking the lad Rose who scores the goal, comes in from the left hand side, drifts in, and, and he's he's unmarked. The fellow who was marking him, I don't know why, has just left him, and he's, he's ball watching, you know. And it, it's 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 not good enough, you know. So I've every right in my capacity as a manager to to voice my concerns and opinions, and I did, and they have to, as players, accept that. Because listen, statistics and league tables don't lie, and the bottom line is uh, we we concede far too many simple goals. Um, and the, and the thing that really hurts you is, I mean, we've just been out there again now for a full hour doing doing set plays. Every restart you could possibly do on a football pitch, we rehearse. Uh, and then you, you sort of fast forward and you watch the game in the silo. And you're, you're not doing what I told you. So it's either a, a, a lack of concentration or or whatever it might be. Um, and listen, we, we find ourselves in a, in a precarious position. Uh, and we've got to stand and fight and fight hard. Uh, but, you know, I'm, sometimes managers in, a, in, in the position we're in, you sound like a crap record because you're saying the same things. You know, you're, you're interviewing me after pre and post game and you end up saying the same things. But they're, they're still true, but, you know, you, 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 say, you go home and you think, well, you know, I'm saying the same way. Right? Eventually, You've got to try and change if, if, if change personality if it's up what it takes uh, because listen, there's only so many formations you can play and there's only so many ways you can attack and defend as a team uh, and if you get good at one of them or two of them then you've got a chance but right now we need to uh, we need to get a foothold in a game try you know how many times are we going to come in three nil down this season i mean it's it's embarrassing it's it's happened too often uh, and it's you know it's game over. It's damage limitation, and then you've got to show some fight and spirit to to you know show that you care really. Um, and it's happening too often. So listen, we we go again tomorrow against a, a very very good side. Obviously, clearly top of the league, and they're top of the league for a reason. They're the best team in the division. So you know we couldn't get any tougher. But we've got we've got to stand and fight for this football club. Tomorrow's game, obviously, as you said, against top of the league and. Is it about now bouncing back from Tuesday, but almost on the flip for the players, showing you, showing the club, showing the supporters exactly what they're made of in terms of mentality and, and that care that you mentioned? Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, that should, that should, it's a prerequisite. Mm. That should happen week in, week out. That shouldn't be something you go, I'll tell you what, we'll show that we care this week. That's, that's, that's not right. You know, you've got to come in every single game and they're thick and fast in this division at the best of times, let alone with a condensed season. You know, I'll come in. You've got to be ready to rumble. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I I, I built a very very good team in my last job, uh, but they were built. It was more, uh, you know. Sometimes there's a great quote by Muhammad Ali about will be more important than skill, and a lot of the time that can be true. You know, I'm looking I'm looking for character and personality at the minute above. So sometimes above technical ability. You know, I need people who are going to go to the well week in, week out, and try and dig us out of this mess. Um, you know, but when you keep you keep coming in that many goals down at half time, it's you know, it's been a trend from day one. You know, from the Eastleigh game, it's, you know, it's been a trend. And, and at the minute, I'm trying everything I could possibly do to book the trend. Um, you know, it's it's formation changes, it's personnel changes some tactical chat adjustments and uh, at the minute I'm still looking for the solution. So we, as I say, we go again tomorrow and uh, and try and get a foothold in the game uh, and give ourselves a chance to, to get, a, get a result. You mentioned after the game, 
on Tuesday that perhaps there would be a change of shape or a change of formation. Yeah. Is that something we might expect tomorrow? Well, we'll see. I mean, listen, I, I'm not going to give anybody any information that they, you know, they'll have to have a look at what we do tomorrow. But um, the, the bottom line is, whatever which way we set up, we, we need to be sound defensively uh, because, make no mistake, they create a lot of chances. They're very mobile, they play at a good tempo, they shift the ball quickly, there's a lot of rotation in their midfield. You know, they, they've got the kid Lemon High Evans who floats, you know, in behind the front, but he pops up left and right. And the main and, and Whitfield who drift across the lines and swap sides, or sometimes on both of them are on one side, you know, and they've got the, the pivot player in there that holds holds the fort for them behind them a little bit. Um, you know, they perm the strikers a little bit. Waters is bright and busy. Uh, lively, you know, he buys free kicks, he's clever, he goes down around the box. Um, obviously, Danny Wright's injured, who I know very well, he's an outstanding striker at this level. But they've got Joshua Murrah, um, straight from Crystal Palace, you know, they, they've got a really good squad and, and an outstanding manager. You know, I mean, I've got a lot of respect for Gary, you know, he's a, a serial winner, he's a habitual winner of promotions. He's got a CV that racks up against anybody's really, and he's at it again, you know. Promoted a couple of years ago in the south, and, and at the minute, I've stolen a march on everyone at the top, uh, undeservedly so. So you know he's a man that you can learn a lot from. I actually worked for him at Northampton. I was doing the goalkeepers at Northampton when he was manager, and, and, the, and the man knows his way around a football club for sure. So you know we're going to have to be at our very best. Uh, you know, and I've told him that you, you, you need to come in ready for the fight of your lives. So, uh, you know, let's, let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, Anthony Wordsworth is back available for us again. Um, what will he bring to the team? Because it looks like he's quite a progressive player, likes to get the ball forward. Do you think that's going to be an advantage for us? Yeah, I mean, listen, Woody, um, Woody's a, a good footballer. There's no doubt about that now. You know, we'll see what, what the lineup is tomorrow. But um, Woody's a, a, a very good technical play. You know, when you when you watch him out there on the drills, he, he seems to have a few seconds more than everybody else. He's got nice technique. He's got a good range of passing. Obviously, he's left-footed, so there's the, the balance in there. Um, the set-piece delivery is good. You know, and that's something that I'm scratching around for at the minute. You know, I mean, sometimes take it for granted that you've got a lad who can. You know, if you put a winger or whatever or a midfield player on a dead ball restart, that they'll be able to hit a certain delivery, and that has, actually hasn't been the case. You know, maybe I was spoiled before. I had, I had a couple of lads who could whip a great ball in, and it, it, you know, when you when you've got run, you know, movement patterns on set plays, it's, it's important that the yeah you cover the bases with your runs in terms of whether, but the flight of the ball has got to be right for, for the runs. So you know, they're both as important as each other. So. He, he brings that. Obviously, he's a big lad, six foot two, so he brings a bit of physicality as well. So, listen, he's been a long time out. I mean, he got uh, he's sent off against Stockport, but so he had played for the best part of two months. You know, um, obviously, Baker Richardson's come into the building. He's another one. He's been up at Barrow, again, not played. Uh, you know, for for a period of time. So, and this, I guess, when you're trying to do your shopping a little bit mid-season, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get lads, if you're bringing loans in, that probably haven't been playing. Um, you know, and it's, uh, you know, you're always looking to, to play catch-up a little bit. But um, listen, let, let's see what the start of the 11 is and what the shape is. But what it doesn't matter, whatever shape you want to do, whatever personnel you, you want to pick, you, you first and foremost, and foremost have got a guarantee and a, a level of commitment and effort and concentration. And first and foremost, that's what I'm looking for. Let's touch on Courtney's arrival. He looks like a man who's got a point to prove, which character-wise is, is sort of perfect for our situation. Happy with that acquisition? Yeah, I mean, listen, we're, we're, we're a lot light up front. There's no doubt about that. I mean, JJ obviously missed a bit of period of the season with an injury um, and then had that uh, adductor uh, uh, problem a few weeks back and he missed some football. You've got Mo Farr and Alfie Pavey, and that's it, really, in terms of fronts. Josh Walker's uh, going to St George's uh, on Monday and may well join back with the group back in the next week. Uh, but right now, we're light up front uh, with options and numbers. So, uh, yeah, listen, Courtney, Courtney was at Coventry City as a kid. He uh, was a Coventry lad. He, he, went, he came out of that system, went to Leamington and scored an absolute shedful. 
and got a move into the championship with uh, Swansea, who we played for and represented in the championship, scored goals in the championship. He finds himself at Barrow, not in their starting team, uh, and wanting to come out and play some football. He's been hungry, you know, we've spoke to him, and he's, he's hungry to come and try and help and make a difference. He wants to be here, you know, so all credit to him. And uh, he wants to come in and muck him. Listen, he's a, he's a runner, he's a worker. Um, and hopefully we can, you know, we can come here and, 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 as you say, on a bit of a mission to show people that he's still a very effective striker. Let's talk about the physio room. Uh, there seems to be a lot of positivity coming out of it in terms of players coming back to the grass and, and joining in with the training. What's an update? Yeah, we, well, we've got a good medical department. That's why. I mean, uh, we that that's, that um, area of the club's really strengthened um, since I've been here. I mean, obviously. Um, Gary Anderson uh, is, is worked here before, and so Tony, um, you know, Mr. Cleanthus knows him well. And, and we were really, really lucky. You know, we were, it's been a real bonus to have him back in the building. Uh, he's been absolutely first class, and with, with Ollie Galloway, who's now working with him and Dimmy, uh, they're doing a really good job in there. So, you know, when I, when I came in a few weeks back, the, the, the you know the treatment room was full. It was uh, you know, there was a lot of injuries. And right now that's starting to thin out. So Xander, Xander McBurney and Tyrone Dufus have both trained this week. Um, from the early part of the week, they've, they've been involved and they've both trained fully for the last couple of days. You know, been involved in everything that, that we've done. Um, obviously Josh Walker's away to St George's on Monday, but he's progressing quite well. So he's going up there really for the finishing touches. He'll be able to do everything they ask him to do. It's just a uh, you know, a bit of a change of scenery and maybe a change of voice, and he'll come back back end maybe Thursday time and with a view to trying to, to get him involved. Matty Preston, I'm being told by by the by the medical department, should be able to join in the warm up on Monday. Probably not the football, but he'll be back with the group in the early part. So it'd be nice to have him back in and, and integrate him back in a little bit. It'll make him feel better. It's not always nicer to be out there than it is in the gym. Um, and obviously you've got your two long terms, um, uh, Wes has had his op, he came in on, where are we now, uh, Friday, he came in on Tuesday, bright and breezy, big smile on his face, had a chat, he wanted to come in and, and be around the lads, um, great kid, like, I, I like Wes, so you know, he's a miss for us, I said to him, listen, it'd be, be terrific if you were available for us, you'd bring a, in a different dimension, you could play 10, you know, coming inside or off both wings. He's a clever player, he's got a goal in him. So, you know, we'll, be, we'll look after him and, and do our best for him for his uh, rehabilitation. Uh, Elliot as well, obviously, he's, he's long-term. So, uh, you know, but we won't see both of those guys till, till next year. Um, I think that's about it. So, yeah, I mean, other than that, obviously, previously, we, we, Petrassi's come back in and done well off the bench. Scored his goal the other night. Um, Got to cut the great balls in against the Ultra the other the other week, and we didn't apply the final touch. So in terms of that, yeah, we, you know, we're touch we're moving in the right direction. So there's a, a, a quite a big squad now, um, you know, because we we have someone or two of the to the junior boys as well. So we've got actually a big squad out there at the moment. Let's finish on that with the players coming back. That obviously creates more of a selection headache, more competition out on the training pitch, more competition to get into starting 11 that can only be a positive going forward yeah listen it's different options different types of players i mean to be fair to zander in the last two sessions he's done well he's done well he's looked you know he's at the ground running he, he um, looks a tidy player technically good he had good legs we had a little 11 v 11 yesterday well not a little one we had we did it for about an hour looking at some some stuff and, and, and zander did well you know he looked as though he could get around the pitch he was vocal which is good. So yeah, it's nice to have your back. Tyrone played centre back in, in one of the teams and did well. You know, he, sometimes for your first session back, he could be a bit rusty or whatever. But they were both moving well and, and look fit and ready to go. So yeah, I mean, on, on the strength of it, that's good. That's good. But um, right now, you know, we need to find a group of lads. I, I don't like chopping and changing if I can possibly help it. You know, if I can get a, a settled winning sort of uh, group, then I'm you know, I'm not one for trying to be too clever and overthink it. I, I just let the lads roll with it. But um, r right now, it's, I'm, I'm scratching around trying to find a, you know, a, a formation and a, and a group, a, a team, if you like, a personnel 
that can that can win a football match. Um, you know, and it, it, it's proving difficult. But um, somewhere down the line, we're going to get get ourselves a result, and we've got to you know got to make that a building block to go from. And listen, our next game's Torquay, so it's the most important game, and we need to rock up and, and give it a massive shot. And listen, it's top against bottom. I've read Gary's comments about Man United, Sheffield, and whatever, and, and he's not daft. He, you know, he knows that we're, there's desperate men and they're going to be fighting. So we, we've got to make sure that they, they, they're in for a real game. Uh, you never know in this league, it, you know, anyone can rock up and beat anyone on any day. So we need to try and make sure that it's, we get our noses over the line tonight.